Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be another episode in the series of The Day in the Life. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. It's been around three to four weeks since I filmed the last Day in the Life video, so I thought it was time I filmed another one. Uh, the situation's evolved here in Japan. We're actually back training with the team now, so we're going into the club five times a week from Monday to Friday, and we have Saturday and Sunday off. However, we're training in groups of six to eight, so very small groups. The whole squad's been split up into five different groups, and we're going in at different times during the day, so yeah, it just minimizes all the risks. So yeah, there's groups going in at 10, then 12, then yeah, I'm going in at around two, two o'clock today. Uh, so yeah, slept in today until about nine o'clock, just gonna have a real relaxed morning and then head into the club a bit later on. I've just had a whole bunch of stuff delivered to me. I uh, got my new laptop, which I can't wait to open and got some groceries as well. During this whole virus period, I've had a lot of support from family and friends, especially with groceries. So yeah, I pretty much haven't gone to the supermarket in like a month. Uh, this, like in Japan, the government actually can't legally force people to stay home. So yeah, I've tried to avoid contact with other people as much as I can. So the only time I leave my apartment is pretty much to do any training or you know fill up petrol, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, shout out to all the family and friends who keep supporting me during this time. Really appreciate all your help. So I'll, I'm going to quickly have breakfast and then I'll see you guys after that. Yeah, this is the care package that arrived today. This is the delivery I got this morning. Pretty crazy. So much stuff. Uh, lots of fruit and vegetables that go into my smoothie most mornings. Lots of yogurt, eggs, bread, rice, some ham, homemade jam, and yeah, lots of chicken breast over here. So I'll quickly put all this away in the fridge and then I'll probably open up my laptop. This is the package that came for me earlier this morning. In here is my new laptop. Uh, long story short, a couple weeks ago, I got this one, uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch. My good friend Luke, who works at Apple Australia, helped me order that. For some reason, I don't know if you guys can see, it came with the wrong keyboard. I don't know if that was Luke's fault or Apple's fault, uh, but anyways, it's all good. I used it for about a week and a half. Uh, I'm ending up returning it, so people are coming to collect it tomorrow. And in the meantime, I ordered this one, which is Actually, a bigger one, it's the MacBook Pro 16 inch, uh, yeah, which is gonna be used for all my YouTube editing and things like that. So, yeah, can't wait to have a look at this, and then I'll uh, see you guys a bit later. It's around 12 o'clock now, I'm just about to have lunch and then I'll probably do some light stretching before heading into the club around 1.30. So the club have asked us to come kind of, you know, maximum 30 minutes before training just to, they want us to get there later. Uh, usually we get there before an hour training starts or even earlier, uh, but because of the whole virus situation, they're trying to limit the amount of time we're interacting with the other team team members and other players. So yeah, I'll probably get to the club around 145, 140-ish for the two o'clock start. Uh, this is what I'm having for my lunch today. It's just, yeah, eggs on multi-grain toast with avocado, cheese and ham and a glass of hydrolite. So also gonna be watching The Last Dance for a little bit. So yeah, I'll eat this and I'll see you guys when I'm heading to training. So it's around 1.15, I'm just about to head to training, so let's get it. 
Shirt definitely needs an iron, but yeah, look, it's not my strong suit, so. Beautiful day here in uh, Osaka. It's getting nice and sunny now, so we're about to get into summer which makes training harder, but yeah, nice weather, good day for training. So I don't think I'm going to be able to film today's session, uh, so I'll let you guys know what I do once the session's done, but uh, yeah, it's been good getting back into training. Uh, a couple days ago we had such a tough session, don't think anybody was expecting it or was ready for it, so yeah, a couple days ago we rocked up to training. It was probably the second day. The first day was pretty solid. Uh, probably rated around six out of 10. We always do like fitness work at the start and then do ball work after that. So each session goes for around 50 to 60 minutes of actual on pitch work. And yeah, on day two, <laughs> we rocked up there not knowing what to expect. We got absolutely slaughtered probably about a 9, 9.5 out of 10. Everyone was dead. And then yesterday was a pretty relaxed session. Uh, I wouldn't say relaxed, but definitely not as hard as day two. And so this is day four now. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain we're gonna be in for a tough one today. So I'm not sure when you guys are gonna be watching this. Pretty much ever since I decided I was gonna start a channel, I spent about a month preparing uh, creating videos just so I could stay on top of it and stay ahead. So most of the stuff you're watching has probably been filmed like a month at least in prior. So yeah, I'm just uh, just got to my car. Oh. So I'm just going to drive to training and yeah, I'll see you guys uh, after the session. Peace. Jeez, it's hot. Far out. So I just got back from training. I'm still at the clubhouse, but just in the car now. I thought it was going to be a tough session today, and I was not wrong. Uh, the session went for around an hour and 10 minutes. Ran around five kilometers total load, and yeah, pretty much all the sessions start with around a 10 minute warm up, followed by a 20 to 30 minute kind of fitness fitness part of the session. It's pretty much the main work of the day, um, fitness wise, and then we finish off with around half an hour of technical ball work. So yeah, today it was around we warmed up probably around I don't know 1.5 k's I'd say uh, probably around. 1k was the warm-up and then the main part of the session was there were seven poles uh, in a circle so they'll put around in a circle spread it out 20 meters apart so quite a large circle and pretty much behind every pole was a station so there's a working station behind each pole and the main focus of training today was step work so it was agility stuff football specific short and sharp movements and yeah, lots of stepping involved. And pretty much behind every station was a different kind of exercise that incorporated that. So some of them were shuttle runs where you know you run up and back and up and back. Some of them were side steps where you jump over a gate and then you sidestep again, vice versa. Some of them were weaving in and out of poles. There were other ones where you're doing backwards stepping and then kind of diagonal cross stepping. So kind of tracking your man, similar movements. 
and pretty much what happened was for 30 seconds whatever station you were at you had to work on that station at around 70 80 percent and then after the 30 seconds the whistle blows and you have to run around the entire circle at probably around 80 percent pretty solid pace and then after that you get around five to ten seconds to move to the next pole before going again so you pretty much do that for seven sets and after that you get a minute rest and then we went again in the opposite direction so two sets of that was the main bulk of the work stamina wise today and then we went into the technical stuff on the ball so that involved today so pretty much after all the running stuff you get a couple of minutes to put your boots on and then you you know you head to the next part of training but like even stuff simple as juggling like you're still breathing pretty heavily still recovering and you've probably just run around 4k so like just simple things as juggling become more challenging than they are when you're fresh which is good because you know it definitely improves you so yeah started off with some juggling some inside inside outside outside just different patterns that got the brain thinking some of them were pretty challenging and then we went into some partner work where we pass a ball between each other did a few passing drills just in pairs followed by a little juggling competition probably 20 meters apart and you had to keep the ball up between two but there was, there was pretty much a square that you were in and then a square that your partner was in so you had to stay in that square and every time you pass it over you'd either say two or three so if you said two he was allowed to take two touches so one touch to control it one touch to pass it back if you, if you said three you know he's got three touches um, but yeah even in training at the moment everything's still very spread out so we're still not allowed to we, they're still avoiding contact with uh, between player to player so all the drills are spaced out even the passing stuff we're all you know at least five meters apart at all times uh, but yeah it was a good session probably gonna head home now and do a bit of recovery got some editing to do and I'll potentially do a gym session later tonight I'll see how I'm feeling uh, but for those of you guys who want to give who want something to take home and kind of apply themselves just to you know gauge where their fitness is at and just want to just want some stamina work here's a session we did a couple of days ago uh, it was around a 60 minute session but I'm just going to be telling you the main bulk of what we did it was around 20 minutes uh, so yeah it was around we warmed up for 10 minutes prior probably ran around 1 1.5 k's and if you guys have a soccer pitch anywhere near you lengthwise a football pitch is around 110 meters and widthwise it's around 70 so that's a full-size football pitch uh, so yeah, we we're pretty much working the width of the field. So 70 meters is the distance between one touchline to the other touchline. And so what happened was we had to go up and back in 30 seconds. So you go up and back in 30 seconds and we had to do two of them in a row. So you get one minute to go up, back, then up and back. So it's 70 meters times four in one minute, continuous. After that, you have 30 seconds of rest, but during the 30 seconds, our physical coach gave us an exercise to do. So in the first 30 seconds of rest, it was 25 push-ups. So you have to do 25 push-ups in that 30 seconds of rest. And once you're done, there's only like five, 10 seconds left and you gotta go again. So then you go up and back and up and back again in one minute, followed by another 30 seconds of rest, but this time it was 30 jumping lunges, alternating jumping lunges. And then once that's done, you go up and back and up and back. And then it was 20 push-ups, sorry, 20 sit-ups. And then, yeah, like you guys can do whatever you want during the 30 seconds. You can take it as a complete rest if you want. If you want to challenge yourself, do an exercise in between that time. But so you do that for five sets. And after you do that for five sets, you're going to be taking a break for two minutes and then doing that again. So five sets means you go up and back and up and back in one minute, followed by 30 seconds of rest with an exercise in between is one set. So you do that five times, it's seven and a half minutes of total work for the entire first set. Then you take two minutes of rest and then you go again. So yeah, it's a, it's a good one for any of you guys who want a challenge and something to do fitness wise at the moment. Uh, give it a go and let me know how you guys go in the comments below. 
Anyways, I'm gonna head home now. So yeah, I'll see you guys back at the apartment. So I'm back in the apartment now. It's uh, around 4.30. I'm just having my post-training meal. I've just done a bit of stretching, light recovery. I uh, used the trigger point gun as well, just for 10 minutes. And yeah, this is just gonna be my post-training session meal. It's 200 grams of rice with some Thai green curry. And this is 400 grams of yogurt with like a citru two citrus fruits mixed through. It's like a, it's a yellow citrus fruit. I'm not sure what the exact name of it is. Uh, some like my family sent it to me uh, a couple of days ago it's like it's like a grapefruit but a bit sweeter so yeah i got two of them mixed through the yogurt glass of water yeah just a lot of carbs uh straight after training and then dinner will be pretty low on carbs but uh gonna eat this while watching some netflix just chill out for a bit and then i'll see you guys soon It's around eight o'clock. I'm just about to have dinner. Some chicken breasts with grilled broccoli, two muesli bars, cause I need to really up my carb intake, two cucumbers with a miso mayo sauce and a glass of water. So yeah, I'm gonna smash this. And then, yeah, I still haven't done a gym session yet, but I'm gonna do it after dinner. So I'll eat this and then I'll see you guys then. Preventing me from finding a witness. So it's around 9.15, pretty late. Uh, but since we're training at the earliest lunchtime most days, it allows me to have pretty much the whole morning off. So yeah, late night trainings are probably gonna be quite repetitive, at least until training gets back to normal. So yeah, you just gotta kinda tweak and adjust your routine uh, depending on your current situation. So. I mean, ideally, I probably wanted to be doing this kind of in between my post-training snack and dinner, but I just wanted to chill out for a bit. So yeah, gonna get this work done right now. Uh, it would probably take 45 minutes max, probably 30, 45 minutes. I've actually only just recently got my hands on this bar. So yeah, I actually haven't done many. I, it's been like f over four weeks since I've done any proper proper OG powerlifting movements. So yeah, really looking forward to getting this done uh, and working this back into my weekly routine and rhythm. Cause uh, yeah, all this stuff I'm doing now is extremely important for power, speed, strength, all football related stuff. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get started and then I'll see you guys when I'm done. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
It's uh, just past 10 o'clock now. I've just finished my lower body session, smashed it out in about 45 minutes. I was actually really good to get that done. It was the, it was the first time I've done those movements in probably four, to, four five, six weeks. Uh, so yeah, it felt good. I felt, felt strong and uh, yeah, I think the work that I was doing lower body, uh, even though it was different movements, in my home gym have really paid off because uh, yeah I felt felt really strong during that which is good so the only thing I haven't been able to do is heavy lifting but yeah we'll adjust and when we go back into the club and when we can use all the gym equipment uh, and get back into our regular routine all that stuff will come back so I'm not worried at all but uh, yeah that felt good and hopefully I won't have too much muscle soreness tomorrow but uh, yeah I'm getting some recovery done in order to help with that so I uh, yeah, just going to be on the Normatex for about half an hour. So just to put it into perspective, uh, when I was playing in Australia at Melbourne Victory, I weighed around 82 kilos, uh, and now I weigh around 91, like 90.5, 91 kilos. So back in Australia, I didn't do a whole lot of strength work uh, with the club. I actually. I actually went outside the club to do some power and speed stuff. Uh, had a had a personal trainer, uh, personal coach who who looked after me in that aspect. But uh, yeah, since coming to Japan, I've pretty much seen a whole new kind of light in terms of off the field uh, training uh, without the ball in terms of the physical side. And uh, yeah, it's definitely shown, and I feel super good now. So. Bear in mind, when I was in Melbourne, I was 18 years old and now I'm 21, so I've also uh, grown into my body and filled out, so that's definitely been a factor as well. But uh, yeah, I recommend all you guys who are looking to go pro to get started on working on your physical attributes as well as your yeah, technical, because uh, it's a really important side of the game, especially in this day and age. I know for a fact that clubs really do look at look at all that types of type of stuff and whenever they bring new players in you know lots of physical testing's done your 30 meter dash vertical leap stamina uh agility all that type of stuff is uh checked you know skin folds it's it's getting more and more more and more particular in those minor details so uh if you want to differentiate yourself from the guy next to you then yeah i mean being quicker being more agile fitter having a better vertical leap, all that type of stuff is just going to help you. So um, yeah, make sure you find someone who knows what they're doing and has had experience in their field. Uh, but uh, yeah, especially all you guys who are older and the game's getting more physical, that'll definitely help you out as well. So after I'm done on the Normatex, I've got around 20 minutes to go. I'm just going to have a bath and then I'm going to head to bed. Uh, so yeah, thanks thanks for watching as always. The the support on the channel recently has been awesome. Like it's blown me away. I was I've the amount of messages I've gotten on Instagram and all you guys that have liked, subscribed, commented. It's uh, it's really been good to to hear from you guys and especially to hear that my videos are actually helping you guys cuz you know, the reason I started this channel was to help all you guys out there who are aspiring pro footballers. So yeah, it's really good to kind of get that reassurance and hear back from you guys. So Thanks again. It uh, it actually took quite quite a bit of time for me to get used to speaking in front of a camera and and like the whole YouTube side of things because I used to I used to mock people who who had YouTube accounts back in the day when I was like you know 13, 14, 15 years old. So never would have guessed that I'd be doing my own channel uh, in a million years. But it's actually been relatively straightforward because I pretty much have to film my regular life and training so uh yeah just just have to get used to carrying a camera around but uh yeah that's going to be it for today's video uh the next day in the life vlog that i post will probably be an off day so it'll be completely different uh but yeah i'll probably probably do that in the next week or so uh but in the meantime i hope you enjoyed today's video it's been a pleasure i'll uh, see you guys next time peace are you listening Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.